Chinese New Year's is the most important holiday for the Chinese people, a time for sending good wishes, reflecting, and New Year's greetings. In a stroke of boldness, people in mainland China are sending words of greetings to this man. Li Hongzhi founded the Falun Gong spiritual practice in 1992. It grew immensely popular, so much so that former Chinese leader Jiang Zemin banned the practice in 1999. Any support for Falun Gong is quickly suppressed. Now, 13 years later, it seems Falun Gong's principles have inspired some in China's materialistic society to reach out. I have a lot of respect for Mr. Li Hongzhi. In this new year, I want to wish him a happy new year. China's society is one of material pursuit, but the Falun Gong group has emerged as one of upholding morals and ethics and doing good things for the public. I really respect this group. In response to the Chinese regime's mass arrests, torture and public denouncements, Falun Gong practitioners inside and outside China raised awareness through peaceful means. The Communist Party has brainwashed the Chinese public, but I've seen Falun Dafa practitioners myself. They have a steady heart, and I really admire them for following Mr. Li Hongzhi's teachings of truth, compassion, and tolerance. These greetings are just part of thousands of voice recordings, videos, and cards to Li Hongzhi. I'm not a Falun Gong practitioner, but on behalf of my family, I sincerely wish Mr. Li Hongzhi a Happy New Year. I hope the wrongs done against Falun Gong can be corrected soon, and in the near future, the practice can flourish in mainland China. According to the Falun Dafa Information Center, hundreds of thousands of Falun Gong practitioners are still imprisoned in China at any given time. Together, they make up the largest group of prisoners of conscience in China.